just when I was amazed with the progress Orbital the PlayStation 4 emulator was making, another PlayStation 4 emulator just came out. This one was called Spine and already got some commercial games booting, which is absolutely amazing. This emulator uses high level emulation instead of the low level emulation Orbital uses. Because of this, the development is really different and I like to see where both emulators go and how they will develop. So the first post about Spine was actually made on April 1st. Because of this many thought it was an April Fool's joke, but it turned out not to be. Recently uh, it has been getting lots of attention because it got Mega Man and We Are Doomed running at pretty much full speed, which is just amazing. So I currently don't know a ton of information on Spine until I get in contact with the developer or if there is more documentation about it. It is currently closed source and the documentation isn't that big and most information I got is from the GitHub page or from Reddit so keep that in mind. The developer, which was unknown until now, did put out a demo version which people can download and with that you can play Mega Man Legends and We Are Doomed on the emulator. Spine currently does not run on Windows or macOS and currently is a Linux exclusive because of the way it is built. It is a Wine-like uh, PlayStation 4 emulator as said on their GitHub page. So you either need to use Linux and you can also use VM Fusion if you have a Mac. VirtualBox has been tested but it is unsuccessful. So feel free to try out any other virtual machines and let me know how it goes. But most of the time, just getting Linux is the fastest option out there. In the future it will get a port for Windows and maybe even macOS, but that will take some time and meanwhile, I like to see how the development goes. So to install it, the requirements are pretty easy. Of course you need Linux, you also need Flatpak, download the files and you need a compatible OpenGL GPU. Of course, these requirements could and probably will change in the future because of the development, so we'll see how it ends up. Since the emulator is in such early stages there hasn't been any UI or something, and you gotta use the default controls which are listed in the description below. So in the background you can see some footage of the emulator running Mega Man, and credit to the Super Mario Odyssey low end mod creator Nemine for recording this for me, so I didn't have to set up Linux. So are you excited there is yet another PlayStation 4 emulator in development or are you still skeptic about it? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this content make sure to like the video and subscribe for more emulation content. And also maybe check out my social media to stay up to date with all emulator news and also stay up to date with all my channel information.